I'm here with Steve Rolls. My favorite fight tonight because he just went toe for toe. These two men did not give up. Steve, how are you feeling after that? Uh, you know, I feel great. It was good to be back in the ring, especially in front of the hometown crowd. So uh, I feel good right now. What drove you through that fight? Because, you know, it wasn't an easy one, but you, you, you had your composure the whole way. You stayed a lot of the center of the ring a lot of the time as well. But what drove you through? Um, you know what? Just uh, my goals, right? Um, eventually, we want to get to a title and eliminator. And in order to do that, I got to get through this fight. The guy was awkward. He came to fight. Um, he's a little tougher than I expected. Um, but with that being said, you know, I'm mentally strong and, you know, I know how to push through there when the going gets tough. Listen, for, for, for the ladies out there and for the men out here, whoever, you know, it's 2022. This man is in serious shape. Steve, you got to tell us about your training regime. You are in ridiculous, Nick. I know we're, we're being modest right now, yeah. but Steve, tell us about your training regime. Um, you know, I train six days a week, uh, strength and conditioning twice a week, always doing my uh, cardio, road work, boxing work, and taking no shortcuts, you know. Um, just always working hard. Every day I try and give 100%. Then I'm in the gym. So what brought you into uh, Lee Baxter? Like, how do, how do you guys meet? Um, you know, I knew Lee for a while, and um, he works with my promoter, DeBella Entertainment. Um, they work together now, and they work well together. So, um, you know, it only made sense that, you know, they collaborated as they did before and uh, get me here at home. So what did Lee say to you after the fight? Like, does he express much to you? He's a quiet man. Um, we haven't really talked yet, but um, you know, we'll talk and we'll see what's uh, what's going to happen in the future. I got to talk to my promotion, um, to Bella Entertainment, and uh, see if we can uh, bring something big back to the city. Bella Entertainment. How have they helped you to get to where you are today? Um, they helped me tremendously. Um, you know, getting on Showbox, the Zone, um, and other streaming services, ESPN. Um, they've helped me uh, tremendously. Um, getting me the fights that I need to, uh, you know, get myself out there and have the opportunity to, to uh, compete at the top level. How much of the sport has turned into more of a business now for yourself? Like, do you see more opportunities on the business side of things or what's your plan on the business side of things in this sport? Yeah, it's definitely a, it's a, it's a business as well. Um, you know, I... Uh, you had a team here with you tonight as well? I had a team here with me. Um, we have people that, you know... Without my team, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at as well. You know, I have a team. They help take care of things while I'm training and stuff. So that's what it takes. It takes a team, my promotional team, my manager, and then just my team, my training team. Is there any people you'd like to give a shout-out to in terms of sponsors and, and people that have helped you along the way to get that team together? Yeah, I want to I wanna shout out uh, West End Athletic. Um, they've been a tremendous help in my career. Um, and, uh, you know, just want to shout out my team. Uh, Sam Dakari, Ryan Grant. Masood Popel uh, and uh, Todd Christie, my manager. And um, yeah. Steve, it's been a pleasure having you on here. Hope to see you around again. Thank you. Thanks very much for the interview. Thank and you. We'll, we'll be talking soon. Well done again tonight. Thank you guys. I appreciate it.